one thing you can do is measure some of the living spaces that you have in your own homes. That will give you an idea of how much space do you need. For example, how much do you need to get a dining table here, right? And Or how much do you need for the garage so that you know you, you can fit a car. So knowing those sizes will help you in creating a more accurate scale or dimension for your floor plan. So here, similarly, we're going to use our line command to create some nice uh, schematic drawing. So L is the short, shortcut key. And I'm just going to create let's say from here and uh, yeah, maybe go up to somewhere here. That will be my initial drawing. So maybe half of that or maybe full. Okay, so up to the grid. So maybe do that. Okay, and uh, maybe, right, make, make a line here. Okay, and then Maybe go to this corner right here and uh, maybe up to this end point here and close the line. Now, I can't really see it as much, right? If I pan, it will show me the building footprint. But what I can do is, number one, make sure the grid layer is locked, which, is, which it is, and then highlight or sorry select my lines and change it to red for now so that will be more visible okay so there you go i can see my lines now and uh yeah continue the process of creating schematic drawings so let's say i'll Put in one, two, three, maybe three meters for my dining, or maybe even four, and see how that will work. So using the line command, maybe I can say, I'll place this here. Okay. Now, notice that that line is, again, white. So I'm just going to change that to red. And this time, hit escape. This time, change the line to red. So this is just a schematic drawing. So it doesn't have to be in any proper layer. Okay, there you go. So for this one, I do have two meters here and maybe my living room, right? I, I do need more space for that. So maybe three or four, right? So maybe I'll use four, right? So I'll four meters, so I'll place a line here, up to there, so that should guide me for my living spaces. So if I have a living and family room here, maybe I can just keep it open, so I don't really need any uh, wall in between, and I can still have this nice uh, stairs, U-shaped U stairs here. Now, Two meters right here maybe is a good space for my uh, uh, washroom, right? So, so I'll maybe place a line here, maybe yeah, two by three. Okay, so I'll just place it here. So that will be my uh, washroom night area somewhere there so stairs will be here and then and then i'll have a kitchen so again it it could actually be an open space right a foyer but i do need a uh, space here enclosed for my garage so uh, i need to check the sizes for garage uh, or the cars and then i'll just place a nice you know, separation right here. So maybe I'll use this. OK, 
okay, as my line. Okay, so that helps me to envision, right? Or visualize the space I need. Now, this one here is in the layer zero. So maybe I'll just place it in a layer called image. So I'll issue the layer command, LA, and create a nice layer called the image. And what I'm going to do, so create a new layer. Alt N is the shortcut key. I'll just, I'm just going to change this from layer one to image, right? And I'm going to uh, select the image and change that to the image layer. So there it is. Okay, so it's now in the image layer. And then what I can do is I'm going to turn off the image layer. There you go. So I can now visualize what I have by way of footprint. Okay, so if you need to, you can always turn on the image layer, right? Or turn it off. Okay, so this is just the beginning of my schematic drawing. I do need to check out the sizes of the areas in my house and see if indeed I can fit in the garage here. Okay, dining. Okay, kitchen. Uh, my family room and a living room. And then I can have a nice entrance here and a nice entrance here at the back. Okay, so schematic drawing is very good initial uh, step that you need to take to be able to uh, visualize the spaces ne needed for your design.